Hi, this is just a quick video, and yes, I do apologise for the state of the kitchen. It is an absolute bomb site at the moment. Um, I actually helped um, a friend to um, move house, and what happened was the quickest way for me to achieve this with them was basically by anything they didn't want to take with them, I volunteered to take their stuff, which I didn't mind doing. I mean, I got this really cool mug um, with a really big handle. So I was really like, yeah, sure. If you don't want your mugs, I actually collect mugs. Um, this isn't, these are the ones I tend to use on a daily basis. The ones I actually collect are still at my mother's house, um, whom I don't speak to. And <laughs> I, I do need to get them back, but um, at the moment they're safe, so I wouldn't want them here to get damaged. I love bumblebees. This was supposed to be a collection of four for a family member for their birthday, but when my boiler leaked and my landlord took two years to fix it, that's how I found out my boiler was leaking. I actually, they were still repacked. They were the other side of the kitchen, which is over there. And I went to pick them up to pack them as a Christmas, sorry, as a birthday present. And the cardboard disintegrated in my hands. So I was not impressed. One of the things that, again, my neighbor didn't want was these iridescent um, knives. So they've got like an iridescent effect on them. Personally, I would never have brought these knives, but because they brought them, I'm going to try them out and see how good they are. So there is a huge mixture of some of it is absolute rubbish. And then some of it is things like um, peppers, um, I think um, turmeric, um, grounded fennel. Now, obviously, anything that was open check the expiration date anything that isn't open i still haven't checked the expiration date and one of the things that i absolutely love and adore is when i can get over that see that that's what i mean my kitchen really needs some tlc um is this uh, this isn't from my friend and um I got this from somewhere else, but I won't open this at all. Um, that is for display only. So what I was thinking of potentially doing with some of these items, if they are past the expiration date, is making my own like herb jar. The other thing that I am going to look at doing is mixing them with oil and making my own sort of mixtures that um, go into soups or casseroles in my slow cooker which I will put into a mold and I will um, put them in the freezer so that is on my to-do list so once again I apologize for the mess it was just easier to just literally grab everything and now I've got to painstakingly sort it out but sadly the landlord still, despite the house being cleared, refused to give them their deposit back. And I can't fight that for them without their consent. So um, I'm just, a part of me is really angry and annoyed that I took the time to help them because I don't see why landlords should keep people's um, deposits um, when the house was absolutely free and clear of everything that needed to be removed. And yet they still basically said to me, look, you know, I know it's this much money, but I can't deal with it mentally. I need to just get out of there and start my new life. And I'm like, okay, fine. But I am a little bit disappointed because I would have fought it for them. Um, because I personally, you know, I've had landlords in the past try and keep my deposit. And even though it's maybe took me six months to a year, I have always got my deposit back. So I know people are probably looking at my house now and thinking, what? There's no way if you left this property, you'd get your deposit back. Trust me, I would. Okay. So anyway, please bear with me. I, I'm in there. 
proceeds and proceeds process of sorting it all out. So take care and enjoy the rest of the day.